Welcome to Electron Online. The question often comes up, what type of integrals can be worked with trig substitution? Well, here you are. This is the type, and there's more than this, but it gives you a pretty good representation. Remember the type that we were, talked about on the previous video. We have the square root of a squared minus x squared, the square root of a squared plus x squared, and the square root of x squared minus a squared. But they can come in all kinds of different types of integrals. For example, we can have it in the denominator, we can have it in the denominator with an x in the numerator, or an x squared, and so forth. You can see the various types of integrals that you might encounter, and all of them can be solved, almost all of them can be solved, with the trick substitution x equals a sine theta, x equals a tangent of theta, and x equals a secant of theta. The first substitution works for these types of integrals. The second substitution works for these types of integrals, and the third substitution works for these types of integrals. You may have noticed that on this row right here, I have a little asterisk. Well, it turns out that you do not need to use trig substitution for this one, this one, or this one, because you can, can, you can define the proper differential. In other words, you can do a substitution, you let what's inside the, um, the radical equal u, and then you can find 2x times dx with the proper differential, but we'll show you how to do that later. What I'm intending on doing is showing you how to do the various types of integration using trig substitution, and when it comes to this one, we'll show you the different technique where you don't need to use trig substitution. But as you can see, there's lots of different types that all can be done using that type of substitution. There's actually more. I simply didn't have enough room on the whiteboard to put all of them down. There are more, and I'll work through each one of them. Well, maybe not quite each one of them, but many of them to show you how to actually apply that trigonometric substitution to solve these types of integrals. So if you're interested, stay tuned, and we have lots more, lots more videos for you to show you how to do this.